Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this course on discrete mathematics. Mathematics is considered as mother of all sciences as it will be impossible to have physics, biology, chemistry, geography without mathematics. Same is true about computer science. Computer science can be considered as mathematics in practice. It is especially discrete mathematics that can be considered as mother of computer science. So what is this discrete mathematics? Simply it is mathematics devoted to study of discrete objects, objects that are not continuous like pixels on your mobile or computer screen, students in our classroom, number of passwords that can be formed from eight characters or number of computers connected in our computer lab or the number of records in your mobile phone. Putting in simple words, when I speak the word discrete mathematics, what do you get? You get two things. The sound wave of discrete mathematics like this, which is continuous in nature and the characters forming these words, discrete mathematics, D-I-S-C-R-E-T-E, M-A-P-H-E-M-A-T-I-C-S. These characters are separable, countable. So, if you want to study the mathematics associated with sound waves, which are continuous, then that is the concern of continuous mathematics, which is also called calculus. Why do you study calculus, integral, differentiation, etc.? So, in continuous mathematics, you study mathematics of continuous things like sound waves, like electrical pulses, like measurements like uh, weights or length or you want to find the trajectory of a falling ball. So all this is the concern of continuous mathematics. But on the other hand, if you want to study these discrete and separable characters, how many characters are forming the word discrete mathematics? How many characters are repeated in this discrete mathematics? word or you can say that how many words are possible that can be formed from the characters of discrete mathematics. So that is the concern of discrete mathematics. So this discrete mathematics comes in picture when objects can be counted or relationship between finite or countable sets are studied or when processes involving finite number of study uh, steps are analyzed. Now the question arises, why is discrete mathematics closely related with computer science? The answer is simple. Computers are discrete in nature. They function on the logic of 0 and 1, true or false up and down, low and high, positive and negative, so is the mathematics associated with them. This discrete mathematics is foundation as well as gateway to more advanced courses in computer science. Mark these words. If you want to excel in computer science field, then you must have a strong hold on discrete mathematics course. So that shows the importance of this discrete mathematics course. Now in this course we will be studying sets, the set theory, relations, functions, combinatorics, the mathematics of counting, methods of proof, recurrence relations, summation series, graph theory, propositional logic and many other important topics. So I am Muhammad Iqbal Bhatt and I will be your instructor for this course. Let us start the course.